It was a 95 degree day in the middle of July and humid as hell, Tennessee. My dad, stepmama, two sisters, and I decided it would be the perfect day to paint our faces, glue feathers to our cheeks, put on rubber chicken head masks along with full body feather onesies, and go outside to take photos for this year's Christmas card. Now, our Christmas cards aren't like the average Christmas family photos you see. Your usual family is in front of some natural landscape, all wearing similar colors or some ugly ass Christmas sweaters. No way, not us. Our Christmas cards always involve a theme, a catchy tagline to go with said theme, and the wildest to get up imaginable. We've dressed up as Christmas presents, rock stars in rocking chairs, classic icons like Abe Lincoln, Audrey Hepburn, and Godney, and of course, chickens. The chicken card was complete chaos. Feathers flying and sweat dripping as we marinated in Tennessee summer sun, arguing about the best angle and where to put the tripod. It was by far the worst card we've ever executed, and yet one of my favorites because it ultimately gave me this tattoo idea. It's obvious when you walk through the house. There's chicken coffee mugs, chicken paintings, chicken knickknacks, chicken tea towels. We're a chicken family. There's also the actual chickens we hang out with every day, and they're more than just pets. They're part of the family. I don't know if my dad will ever be proud of the fact that our family emblem is right on my right butt cheek. Whenever I pull down my pants and try to show him, he runs for the hills and screams. Weird, I know. I have to give my dad props, though. I have no idea how I would react if I had me for a daughter. However... I do know this. I love my dad. I love him for the person he is, for the man he shows up as, and the support system he has been for me. Not to mention the most amazing rock star I've ever seen on stage. Even though we don't communicate often, I feel his presence with me always. I feel when he is thinking about me, sending me prayers as I continue living my unconventional life. He might not understand the choices I make, but he supports me and he lets me do my thing. I may not totally have his blessing with everything I do, but I really feel his love. And that's all I could ever ask for. So thank you, Dad, for being one of the most humble and down-to-earth men I've ever come across. It is an honor to be your firstborn child.